Marklin and Trix announces the new BR78 Insider Club locomotive. This is a great new model with some incredible new innovations. The BR78-1001 is really a first of its kind because it was never produced before in HO scale. This model is all metal and comes equipped with sound, lighting functions, even a flickering light in the smoke box. The locomotive has all the bells and whistles and would be a great addition to any collection. Now let's see what Markland and Trix has to say about this amazing new model. There are some locomotives that have been rarities from the get-go. Anfang der 1950er Jahre hatte damals noch junge Bundesbahn. In the early 1950s, the newly founded German Federal Railroad converted two steam locomotives of Series 38 into the Series 78-1001 and 78-1002 to try out new technologies. As the second club model for Märklin Insiders and Trix Club members, we've created a model of the 781001 in a scale of 1 to 87, which is of course half O. With these locomotives, engineers were experimenting with the concept of a tank locomotive replacing the former concept of a tender in tow. This should enable the engine to cover longer distances without stopping to replenish coal or water. Also, it was meant to go faster when running in reverse, which unfortunately did not prove feasible, and the maximum reversing speed was still limited to 60 km per hour. The model boasts with a lavish construction design. As expected for a top-notch Märklin model, wheels, frame, boiler and tender will be made of metal. The cabin will come with an authentic interior and an unobstructed view and lighting as well as a flicker from the firebox. The engine also comes with dual headlights that change over with the direction of travel. A smoke generator will be supplied from factory. Together with this engine, we will be releasing a set of cars, and the engine therefore is equipped with a current-carrying coupler that can be controlled via digital operation. The main challenges with this model lie with the tender. It is mounted on two axles and is therefore not very spacious. Nevertheless, we had to fit all electronic components as well as the speaker inside, and I think our engineers did a marvelous job with this. We decided to go with the 7810 because it is so unique. Only two exemplars of this engine were ever made. Although they initially only served as guinea pigs, they still enjoyed a decade in active service. The boiler accommodates a controlled high-efficiency propulsion with a flywheel. Thanks to the MFX Plus decoder, the CS2 and CS3 allow for operation in the cabin mode. The world of operations mode has become a standard feature in all of our latest models. It's very popular with our customers as it just makes operating the model engine so much more fun. And here it is, the first pre-series version of the 781001. It was already made from original parts. The engine has a line of cars in tow the newly developed Thunder Boxes. This set of cars comprises five authentic two-axle cars in a bottle green color scheme. It is also an exclusive item for club members only. The compact tender locomotive handles beautifully. The model depicts the prototype engine as it looked in 1951. In those days the engine was based in Munich in southern Germany. In the course of the following years, it was transferred to Lindau and Augsburg. It was retired in 1961. Luckily, its career in model scale still has a bright future ahead. Also, thanks to its more than 30 digital functions. When the model railroader chooses to shovel some virtual coal, the red flickering from the firebox can be observed. The conductor's whistle can be heard as well. This passenger has just missed the train. The engine is already taking off. 
Let's go back to the Thunderbox cars. Their nickname comes from the thunder-like noise they make when in full motion, as their bodies are made from steel, without any notable suspension. More than 8,000 of these cars were put into service. They can still be admired in action on historic railroad lines, such as this one in Franconian, Switzerland, where they regularly operate as part of extra trains. The new 78101 will be joined by a set of matching cars containing five Thunderbox cars with interior lighting as a standard feature. Thanks to the current carrying couplers, electricity for the cars will be supplied by the engine at the front. A total of 35 little figurines have been placed inside the cars. The luggage car also comes with a figurine of a railroad staff member, including some pieces of luggage. The railroad employee with this card are not part of the set. All figurines were supplied by Preiser. Please note that these models are only pre-series versions. The luggage car comes with movable sliding doors as well as tail lights. Warm white LED were used for the dual headlights. The gap between engine and tender is generally very narrow. For safe use on the layout, it should however be extended slightly more, as can be seen here. The new 7810 is another adorable exotic addition to the Matlin range of products. Together with its matching set of cars, this engine forms a beautiful and authentic train commemorating the early days of the German Federal Railroad. And don't forget, deadline for ordering is August 31st, 2019.